Welcome back to the 37th, I think, episode of the Stitch With Love podcast. My name is Shannon. If you are new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. I am a knitter coming and a crocheter coming to you from Palmerston North, New Zealand. Uh, yeah, how, are, how is everyone? Um, things here are relatively back to normal, I guess, but then we've also had some weird cases outside of Auckland, so things are a bit uncertain um, with that situation. If you are new here and you don't know, uh, we went into a nationwide lockdown here in New Zealand a little while ago. Um, Auckland is still in a lockdown and now parts of the Waikato have gone into lockdown following today's cases. So there's that. Um, knitting wise, I have been relatively, I wouldn't say quite monogamous, but I've been focusing on a bunch of projects as they have deadlines. So I, uh, if again, if you didn't see last episode, I have quite a few test knits going on at the moment. And so those have been my main focus. So I'm going to start with finished objects and show you my first thing here. This is, oops, <laughs> drop it. This is the Constanza shawl by Crafty Gemini. This is currently in testing. I can't remember when it's going to be released. I don't know. But yeah, it's currently in testing. Uh, my version here, I used one skein of fingering weight yarn. This is Mama Willing Plush Fingering on Shabby Chic. Uh, and I used a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle. Show you a bit up close. Uh, there's the lace detailing. It's relatively small shawl. I normally like quite long, like big shawls. But one thing that's good about this one, it's, I'm not going to be using it much now because we're coming into spring. Um, but because it's a bit smaller and lighter, it's, I think it'll be quite good for when we go back into autumn again, just to pop around my neck, you know, under a jacket or something or a jumper. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take this off because I'm quite warm, but I wouldn't say it's particularly hot. It's like mid temperature. It's in the mid teens. I think it's like 14 degrees Celsius, which for me starts feeling warm <laughs> because I'm weird like that. Uh, I mean, there was times in the winter, especially, where it would get to, like, 10 degrees and it would feel warm. So, that's just me. But, yeah, I don't know really what else to say on this one. Uh, it will, I think it will be a painful pattern. Um, and plus, as I said, it's in testing, so I don't want to give away too much. So, first one. So, that one is done. That's It's all blocked and everything, too. I blocked it yesterday. I could sit up there. Um, speaking of test nets and releases and things like that, Kelly Monster's Sunshine State of Mind, which is this one here that I showed last week, is now released. So I will leave the link to my project page, which will then link you to the pattern down below. This is now released, it is available, you can get it on Ravelry or on her website, so if you like this pattern, go get it, <laughs> or save it to your queue or something, um, so it is now available. Uh, right, moving on to works in progress, I have three, we'll be getting a couple more, uh, a couple more test notes, but I'm waiting for the yarn, so there's that. Uh, so first things first, it's another Monster Knits design. This is Spiced. Oops, I'm tangled. I am tangled. Uh, so this is Spiced. Oh, what's happening here? What is happening? Um, 
I'm only at the beginning bit, so it's not quite sitting how it should. But uh, so this color here is Mama Willing Soft Single, which is 100% merino on vanilla bean cream, and then this orangey color is the same same base, but it's on co it's the colorway is cobbler. So. I'm working away on that. I've just finished doing this section here. Hi Ash! Ash has come to say hi. Um, this section here, attached this section, I've just done the stripes and I'm on to the next section. Oh, hello! You're closer than I thought. So, yeah, my third colour, which hasn't been introduced yet, is Int or on Prosperian Butte, which is her merino singles. So that will be my third colour. It's this dark foresty green. Uh, the camera's kind of showing. It's looking a little bit darker, but that's okay. And the bag that it's living in, oops, grab my needle, is Knit Bits. So this is where this is living currently. Hello, you're gonna get whacked in the head. She pushed herself right underneath my elbow. Uh, secondly, if I can find it down here. <laughs> so originally, this was posted as a secret test net. It's not secret, <laughs> it's public. Uh, we can post about it, so I'm going to post about it. This, small cute little thing. Move my remote control away from here. It's going to be a little baby sweater. This is a test knit for... I can't remember the designer now. Um, but I can't, I can't remember the designer. I, I will put it down. Uh, the pattern itself though is the Charlotte Rose uh, cardigan. So, that's the back, that's the front. I'm doing the three month size, so this is quite small. The yarn I'm using is Starcraft Special DK, 100% acrylic, in the colour Duck Egg. And this bag that it's living in is nothing special. I made this bag when I was in brownies. And it has my maiden name on it. <laughs> so my married name is Strange, but my maiden name is Tierney. So it says Shannon Tierney on it because when at the time I was like, It have been like nine, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> so, I was I was little back then. It's just a little tie-dyed bag. It has a hole in it, actually, which I need to sew up. But at the moment, it's fine. <laughs> Again, not too much to say on this one. It is another test knit, so it yeah. I'll speak more as I go through the process. And my last one for now is my sock. I I always have a sock going on and I hope it doesn't get too boring because <laughs> I don't really do pattern socks, at least not at the moment. I do want to, I've saved some patterns especially by Kat K of the Crazy Sock Lady but I just haven't got to that point yet. <laughs> so a lot of these are just plain vanilla socks. Uh, I'm currently doing the gusset decreases for this this yarn is fibre to go on her Tuffy sock, which she doesn't carry anymore. And it's the colourway Periwinkle, which I also don't think she carries anymore. So I'll just leave her website link below and you can have a look. So she's an Auckland based dyer. She also does fibre for spinning as well. Um, I'll show you the cake, it's a bit messy because I've been carrying it around. So it looks a bit funny. 
but that's okay. It still works. I might even get two pairs of socks out of that because I do kind of like shorties. Um, and this is another bag by Knit Bits as well. This is the Japanese knot bag, which is great for on the go. I love it. Um, so that <laughs> that is all my works in progress this week because I haven't been able to touch the others that are sitting in a bag in front of me at the moment on my whip on my whip pile because I've had deadlines for all of those. So I've been quite busy. <laughs> uh, I have another two test nuts that are coming up. One is a shawl and I've ordered the yarn. It is coming. I'm using Outlaw Bohemia Light for that. I've never used that before so that'd be interesting. I'm excited about that one. I've got that coming from Skeins and then the other one is a test net for Sunny Day Fibre and she's actually sending me the yarn. So she's, I think she's dying that up and then sending that out. Um, I'm also going to be a sample knitter, hopefully, for Macy of Macy of Skeins. So I will have some yarn from her coming too and I'll have that to focus on uh, so I can get that done. So yeah, it's actually been really exciting. I've had a lot of test knits. Now I'm potentially going to have a sample knit, hopefully. Um, postage is a bit funny between the states in here though, so fingers crossed for that one. But um, yeah, it's been really exciting. It's been really cool. Uh, and then we've got the mystery knit along, the Stephen West one that starts next week. I have wound up my kit. It's all ready to go. I've got it in a project bag. Uh, it will be Saturday our time when it starts. So that'll be exciting. Uh, I might, depending on how work goes, have more time to knit this couple of weeks because we are now on holiday program, which means instead of doing our normal split shifts that we do, so normally I work a morning shift for about an hour and a half, and then I come home, I do whatever I need to do during the day, and then I go back in the afternoon till closing. Uh, so we normally have split shifts, whereas during holidays, aside from one day where I have a split shift, which is annoying. But hey, that's right. Uh, <laughs> I have the easier parts of the day, so I'm not complaining too much, and I have a technically a shorter shift. So, can't really complain about that one, can I? Um, but. I am going to be working at the moment every morning, so I will be home by about one o'clock, which is so nice. Um, so I have the whole afternoon to rest, tidy up around the house, knit, um, have a nap if I need. However, I'm going to try and not nap because that happened last holidays where I'd get home and I would have a nap, well, be a nap, more like a sleep. I would sleep till dinner time. <laughs> My husband would get home from work and I'd be asleep. Which then means I can't sleep very well that following night, which makes it really hard when I'm getting up at 5am the next morning. So, mm, I'm going to try not do that. I'm also going to try and eat a bit healthier because I'm really tired at the moment. So I want to up my water intake. Not cut out, but decrease my amount of carbs because I eat a lot of carbs. Also the fact that it causes me stomach issues. Sorry if that's TMI, but it just it just does. It makes me feel all funny. Um, and I want to try to eat more fruit. So those are my goals for the next two weeks. I also want to get this sock done. Possibly get this done, because it's a baby sweater. However, that one, the deadline isn't until the 30th of November, so I'm not too worried. But then if I can get them done, then that also means I don't have to worry about deadline. Um, and I want to at least get another section done on this. And then I'll be casting on, on Saturday. Totally me. For Stephen West. And then when my yarn arrives for the other test nets, I'll we'll be getting those done. You may see me cast on another shawl next week because 
my yarn for that should arrive during the week. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of, not a lot of knitting there, ugh. sorry, my words got very jumbled. <laughs> there's a lot going on in the knitting world of my life. <laughs> that makes no sense. You guys get what I mean. Uh, so yeah, that's exciting. Um, I'm trying to think what else, I mean, if there's anything else I need to say. Um, at the moment my trip to Auckland is very uncertain because with there now being more cases outside of Auckland and case numbers going up, we don't know. And they and the government did said say that even if they drop Auckland down at an alert level, they might not open the boundary. So we might actually not be able to cross from like the Hamilton Waikato boundary into Auckland. Um, and at the moment we can't even go through Hamilton Waikato because they're in level three. So <sighs> yeah it's it's difficult to kind of figure out how that's all going to work so i will keep you guys posted on that well i'll know probably by next episode if we're going or not so yeah that's not quite what we wanted but it's okay it's okay we understand the necessity it's just annoying Water break. Ugh. Yeah, um, I think that is all for this week. It seems like a very short episode. But then I've been working on a lot of the same projects, so... Yeah, there's not as much... Not as much to go to show at the moment. And then, as I said, but that's not really moving around because of the COVID situation. Um, and then we had quite a busy last week at work because getting ready for a holiday program. And so it's just, it's all been a bit all over the place. And I'm already feeling tired and we haven't even started a holiday program yet. So I'm going to be going to bed early tonight. <laughs> Hopefully that's. That's the plan. So, I think, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else to talk about. Um, yeah, I think that's it really. Uh, so, I am going to finish up here and get this edited and uploaded. My editing is taking a little bit longer, so i to try and work out my recording and editing schedule because I'm using a different recording software now because of this. So because of this, I need to be able to merge the audio and the video so I couldn't use the cheap little built-in one that I was using earlier, which is probably a good thing because I kind of need to move on from that. Uh, but it just means it takes a little bit longer. And it takes longer to export and all that sort of stuff. So... Yeah, it does mean I can put text up on the screen now without it causing issues and I can add like pictures and things, which is great. So, pros, definitely pros. Um, so yeah, I am going to head off now. I'm going to get this edited. I'm going to work some more on this. I'm going to clean my kitchen and start cooking dinner in about an hour and just get ready for the week ahead so i thank you all for watching and for being here i hope whatever you're doing whether you're knitting crocheting crafting whatever that it brings you some joy and i will see you next week bye <laughs>